<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Breaking my heart, are you? Maybe you can hit up some veins up on there. Don't go See, I know where the atrium cover is? <laughs> we lost it. just got to hold it. Alright. Say action. Where's my close-up machine to mill? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Alright, let's start. We'll work outside in. So... We have a covering here around my heart, pericardium. Is that a right or a left heart? What's your thing? Well, this would be right and this would be left. So, pericardium, this would be the parietal because it's outside on my walls and my cavity. The visceral would be basically on the organ with serous fluid inside. So, I have my right and my left. So, first thing I'm going to do is the outside part. So, we have a blood vessel here that comes out of the right side of my heart and goes down the front. That would be the right coronary artery. And it's going to eventually go under my heart here. And when it does that, we call it the circumflex because it's making a circle. It would come up all the way here. And then eventually, this wasn't falling apart, it would eventually come back all the way to here where it's going to join the left coronary, left coronary artery up there. So the left and the right circumflex together or anastomose. Then you have an anterior interventricular artery, because on the front between my ventricles, you have a marginal on the side. And then the blue one is the cardiac veins. So you have the great cardiac vein, which goes across the front like this and becomes a coronary sinus here. This is the middle cardiac vein right here. And those meet at the sinus, which puts the blood in that break in my heart, right there. Okay. So the fossa is next to it, but this is the coronary sinus. So now here I am in my right atrium. I'm going to go through my tricuspid valve because there's three flaps into my right ventricle. These are chordae tendine and papillary muscles. This netting is trabeculae carne. This netting is pectinate muscles. Then I'm going to go through the pulmonary valve into my pulmonary artery, which would go to my lungs. I'm going to come back. Oh, that's my name. I'm going to come back in my pulmonary veins into my left atrium, through my bicuspid, into my left ventricle, through my aortic valve, into my aorta. There's this big beast here. My aorta is going to take it to my body, and it's going to drain back into my superior and inferior vena cava, back into my right atrium. So just the circuit. Other things you have to know is on my aorta, the very first branch is called your brachiocephalic. That goes off to your right side. And you have to learn some special parts. So this thing here is called the ligamentum arteriosum. That's a ligament between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. In a baby, that was called a ductus arteriosus because it had a, actually a tube there. But you're a ligament because you're an adult. You're born. And then here, this is the fossa ovalis. In an adult, we frame an ovale in a baby. And I think that's everything other than the wall. So here's my interventricular septum separating my right and left ventricles. And here, this wall represents my interatrial septum between my two atria. And my oracles are the little dog ears that stick up here and here. And let's see, what did I forget? I'm sure I forgot something. Apex, base. Oh, myocardium would be the meat of the heart, and endocardium would be the lining on the inside. Because mm. endo within. That should be everything on your list. Do you need to do those? Yes, you do. <laughs> So, let's see, patient's right, patient's left. So, right coronary artery, the circumflex, becoming a left coronary artery with a left, I'm sorry, the anterior interventricular, marginal, great cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, coronary sinus, right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. So this would be your tricuspid valve with chordae tendine. Where's the pulmonary valve? Ah, must be there. There's my pulmonary valve to my pulmonary artery, to my lungs, then my pulmonary veins, to my left atrium, to my bicuspid, into my left ventricle, to my aortic valve, to my aorta, 
brachiocephalic would be first, all the way around, to superior inferior vena cava, back to here. Interventricular septum, interatrial septum, and there is no foramen ovale or fossa ovalis on this model that I can see. Nope, they left that out. 